Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl 3 Season 2 Finals, Losers Bracket Round 2, the uh, last chance for one of these guys. Um, that We will go down to 8 competitors after this match. It is Crystal Hunter in blue with his Skaven versus Diomlord in red with his Lizard Men. And we've seen, we see now Diomlord winning the toss, receiving, and he has got nearly the perfect anti-blitz setup. I would prefer the Croxagor in the middle, but it's really nice, isn't it? You've got the only players that can be Blitz or Strength 4, and you know if you knock this guy down, there's no there's no gaps in, in the formation whatsoever. No matter who's knocked down, there is never a gap. You, you know, I guess at most you're gonna like knock this guy down and then uh, be able to dodge through here, but it's really good. The ultimate, pretty much the ultimate anti-blitz defense, so great to see. And like, you know, Lizards are one of the teams that can use it effectively with them all having Strength 4. Um, block at least on the LOS. Uh, you know, not all teams can set up as well as this, but but lizard men are one of the ones that can. And uh, yeah, lovely to see that from Dion Lord. Um, six block for him, twelfth player, only two re rolls, um, and an apple. And then Chundra has just got like a a random Skaven team. I don't really like how they build with this TV. He's only got three gutters and a thrower. Leader on the throw, he likes to bench it to save it for the one turn, etc. And uh, a wrestle, a block, and a nothing gutter. Juggernaut, Roger, and a gardener tackle. It's I really don't like how Skaven build in this format. I'm not a fan of them at all. But, you know, Chunter is a bit of a Skaven specialist. He's played hundreds and hundreds of games. And, uh, you know, it's what he likes. And he, he, that's you know that's what he's chosen. And also he said he wanted you know seeing as that was what he associated was that's what he was associated with. He thought he would uh, you know do one last run with them because he thinks he's going to stop playing football three. Hmm. So he follows there. Which is interesting. Because, you know, maybe that Skaven can punch him. Oh, wow. Gets the Kaz because he, he three dice hit with Mighty Blow. Turns out doing that is better than not doing that. <laughs> it's obviously not going to waste a reroll here, but the problem is. <laughs> You didn't pick it up this turn, but guess who's coming for your balls? It's Chunter. So you'd better make the pick up next turn, or you'll just lose. <laughs> My fantasy team would be a lot happier if it had, if it had won me the, the league instead of doing it after after the league was finished. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'm a. I'm a bit of a, a bit of a Bills fan now, only a bit. More, ha I was more, ha I was more a big, I was a bigger fan of the Chiefs to be honest with their Mahomes last season when, they, uh, when I won the fantasy football. My 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 team just fell off on the last uh, last few weeks. So double tagging one skink rather than tagging two skinks is interesting, isn't it? That is interesting. So he does pow. And that was also interesting as well, wasn't it? So he's not assisting that. I mean, I'd want to try and hit the other one as well. Yeah. He's not hitting the other one though. Interesting. Fails the pickup. <laughs> and oops. Maybe maybe you should have rerolled the first pickup, eh? It's funny, isn't it? It's funny because like, you know Well you're not gonna reroll the first pickup, but it's Skaven. And maybe you should have rerolled the first pickup. I wonder if it's worth trying to two dice that guy out of the way or not because it's like it's a lot of rolls isn't it oh well, well okay never mind wait what happened that was a double skull 
re-rolled into one in nine. And what was it achieving? Except like trying to hurt a skink, right? Don't like that. That's like a thinking block, right? He needed to think about whether he was gonna two four two to score, or if he was gonna three plus out and one D, or if he was gonna three two plus out and go there and then three plus out and two D, and then do a two three two to score. I guess this is like it's a one in eight, but I don't want to use the reroll on this. This is the problem, right? It's not so much that like it's not bad to like block the skin first or whatever. Because you might do you might do more damage and stuff and leave yourself in a better bold state if all of this shit fails, whatever you're gonna do here. Like whatever you're gonna do here around the ball. Um like it could have been a two plus dodge out and a two D blitz with wrestle. The problem then is if the wrestle blitz fails, well, I guess then you've got your backup of this one. So maybe that was the player, two plus out, put a guy in the ball, blitz him, and then go in and out and score or something. But whatever the player he was gonna do. Like, it's okay to, like, try and kill a skink first, obviously. But there is that... It's not so much the 1 in 81 chance of failure as the 1 in 9 chance of using a reroll is why I wouldn't have... I would have prioritised the ball action. But, like, it's... it's t If he had block, it was obviously totally reasonable to do it, and then you might use a reroll, I think. But I think without block, it was... More chance of a turnover and less chance of success as well. I think this two. I think the the two, the two plus dodge out and then the two D blitz with wrestle is probably the best. Problem. Maybe not. Actually, he couldn't get it himself. Oh, fails the pickup again. He's tried to pick up the ball five times, and he's rolled a one in three each time. So that's a 1 in 81 times 9. I can't even count that high. But it's very high. <laughs> God. God. <laughs> Shouldn't be you dirtbag. <laughs> Flip me. What's that? About 1 in... 1 in 720-ish, isn't it? And there you go. Picks it up, scores, and it's not over. But uh, it's a bit sad for Diomlo that he actually he actually did the ultimate blitz defense, anti blitz defense, and then he failed the catch. Also, he failed the catch. He also failed the catch. Wait, no, I did one in eighty one. It was just by three, wasn't it? It was just by three. So it's just one in two hundred forty three. So, it was only a 1 in 243. Okay, so it wasn't that. I don't know why I thought it was 6 times. It was 5 times. But it was... Um, but then also, there was the failing the catch. There was an also a 4 plus. And now he's failed a 4 plus again. <laughs> and that was af after doing the ultimate blitz defense. Now, maybe his first turn wasn't ultimate anti-breakthrough, right? But, um, like, maybe not. I've already forgotten what happened. Maybe he could have had better anti-breakthrough defense. But, um... Like, after the setup. But flip me, I mean, that is... That is just crushing, isn't it? To, to fail five pickups. I don't think... Probably anybody beats Chunter after failing to pick up the ball five times in a row. <laughs> You've got to get a lot of... Uh, You've got to get a lot of luck outside of the five pickups if you're going to fail five pickups versus Chumper. Oh, the jump! The glorious jump! Oh! But then, rolls a one and nine. Gets us done. Man, I do you know what? I'm still sad that I that I didn't realise that that wrestle in the Moomin Slayer match would have uh, wouldn't have actually blocked his path. Flip me. 
just automatic thinking, isn't it? Was the will the wrestle will block your path, but it just doesn't anymore. And actually, it would have just been a two plus leap. Oh, my tackle zone's unbelievable. Hmm. Awful lot of players over the over the right here, isn't there, for Chunter? This isn't uh, ideal, but I guess he can block him and get the other two off. Problem is if he bites his guard. <laughs> if, he, if he bites his guard blitter, that's not great, is it? Let's make a few hits here, though. Another one in nine. Second reroll spent before the one turn. Oh, but he got an extra one. Oh, because now he's feeling the thrower, of course. Oh, that's a frenzy trap. Oh. Practice your jumps. <laughs> Remember to practice your jumps. <laughs> it's true, though. It really is true. Like, you know, to keep an eye out for... Uh, for like easy, easy routes through the ball. I remember there was a game where Elliot just like randomly did jump over like to with a few players to like sack the ball. And it's like, god damn, that's brilliant. It's just, it's so out of the ordinary, isn't it? Thinking from like you know, having been able to do it for thirty years, could do it in uh, Blood Bowl Second Edition. Funnily enough, you could jump over down players, but it hasn't been in the game for such a long time. It's not easy to. Uh, Look for it. Or rather, it will take an adjustment period to look for it. It's maybe more accurate. The uh, Roger did free up that guard guy anyway. So he kind of did his job even though he got stunned. Oh, that's another reroll gone down to one here for Chunter. He must think he can stop him, right? Because... This is two rerolls he could have just not used. And then Oh my god, the triple uphill? Was that a was wait. That was a gutter. That was a gutter doing a triple uphill. I mean that's chunter for you, isn't it? And he didn't choose the push. Why, why, why do you choose to put your Saurus on the ground? <laughs> I do not like that choice from Dion Lord. Like, okay, you still, you still get the hit. I, I guess he's dodging with a tackler. I guess this is making it a one D. That's why. This is making it a one D. And if he. Took the push, then he'd be cancelling that, and his would be cancelled, so it'd be a 2D. Okay, so it makes sense now. One of those things that you know is like, why the why the flip is he taking that both down? But actually, yeah. So if he takes the push, okay, he's still got a standing Saurus, but then he doesn't follow, and then it's straight in for a 2D. So yeah, he actually had to take the wrestle to make this a 1D. And it's a pal. <laughs> and he catches it on that one. <laughs> and then makes the second dodge anyway. So he could have still made it a 2D, I guess, with that, but I mean, that was pretty decent, wasn't it, actually? That was that was that was good play by Dion Lord. Correct decision. To um Ooh. Interesting. And he just goes in. To make it 1 1. Still in the first half. And does this give Chunter a two turn? It sure looks you like can it. Be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be Whoa. My 
Hello, Andy Dave. Oh, wow. Massive raid. Thank you very much. Hello, Ode to Joy. This is the last game of the, uh, of the, uh, play season, not the playoffs, the season finals. Chunter versus the Omlord in the loser's bracket round two. And, uh, it started off with Diomelod failing to pick up the ball. Well, first of all, failing to catch the ball. And then failing to pick up the ball five times in a row. And uh, amazingly, failing to pick up the ball five times in a row versus Crystal Hunter did not turn into a success for him. Shockingly. <laughs> yeah, I did done six of them. Yeah, I done six of them. There were seven. I'm I'm absolutely shattered. Yeah, there were seven. Powered through six. Well, I wouldn't say powered. Limped through six of them. Dimmy helped with a few. The the, the knob ones. <laughs> oh dear. Flip me. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> um. <laughs> hello Andy hello hello sorry I was just letting you sort out whatever the technical issue was there um, yeah <laughs> flip me um right <laughs> yes hello um so yeah this is oh wow we've done we've got a cage dive here oh it's because I was it's because I was streaming it in my discord that's why it was weird it said join it said join video call but it's because it's because I was streaming the game already when Dimmy was watching. Ah uh, right, okay. Uh, so I blind panic because I was like, I don't wanna <laughs> join a video call, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> errata, errata <laughs> Man, a, a classic from Dimmy, that instant classic from Dimmy the Errata. Cage Dysaurus catch. Oh wow. But uh, Shunter pops it loose. So, because so, this is manager one, manager two, um, it's Shunter playing Skaven, and just for my benefit, who's the manager two? Dion Lord. Dion Lord, right, right. So yeah, Shunter in blue. They they also had uh, they also had both had red red kit, and <laughs> and also Shunter's uh, first game in the losers bracket versus was versus Smilzor, who was also red lizard man. <laughs> So, oh, wow. So yeah, just deja vu for uh Chunter here. So he makes the dodge, makes the pickup, does the jump! Oh and then does the dodge. Wow. And gets the score. Amazing. <laughs> I was thinking this is like a million dodges and there was jump just talk was just talking about jumps. Um there was a there was another jump from Chunter earlier in the match. And yeah, it's it's great. It's great to see the jump players, isn't it? I, I was I was saying I think like uh, I think jump players are probably like the weakest, you know, the weakest part of good players games these days. You know, probably like objectively, if you like, because we're just not used to it. Oh, we have to like thirty years of not jumping. <laughs> yeah, it catches you out on tabletop, especially. I think you you just suddenly go, what? Wait, oh, oh, that's just one three plus. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, did you, you know, did uh, Movement Slayer's game versus you? And uh, the, you know, like, I was like, oh, this is terrible blitzing with a wrestle. And it's like, well, it's just a two plus. And it's like, oh, yeah, it didn't, didn't block his path at all. <laughs> I was like, the wrestle block, you know, you totally screwed. But actually, he was adding a two plus. It wasn't, it wasn't terrible at all, was it? Wait, is, is Chunter, well, he's not really dackering, is he? Because he'd set up to... He'd set up to fight. This yeah. is just a, a blitz leading to an aborted drive, basically. <laughs> it's an aborted drive rather than a dagger. I guess people have like done this for a lot of years, right? On on offense, just <laughs> just been yeah. blitzed or perfect defense on and just had to run away. Was this the game? I know we're watching the replay, so I'm not going to spoil the score. But was this the game that we joined halfway through? 
it I might like, have been. I feel it like might, I might have seen this. It might have been. We definitely did join a Chunter game that was in progress at some point on one of the days. Because <laughs> yeah. I think the rat ogre gets confused on the sideline, doesn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, that was it. So it got cast, yeah. And so it was already confused from last turn, and that was it. It had just been cast because we were like, he must have been, he must have been surfed or something. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. So we did do a bit of this on the official cast. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hang on. Let me just go and find out what I said. I'll just copy that. <laughs> copy should, paste. Should not have said this one last. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> this is the one I've seen. I've seen this one. Oh no. <laughs> it was seven. I mean, I should have started with your two, I guess. And then, uh, and then I could have <laughs> could have ended with, with whatever, but I just went through them in order, like you know, on the bracket. I just I just looked at the bracket and went through an order, and uh, turns out this was a bad one to have done last. <laughs> yeah, I think we joined about like turn twelve or something. About now. Yeah. About, about. It was about where he was just where he was like squished on the sideline a bit, wasn't he? Yep. And then that was like. Maybe the rogue had been surfed, or maybe it had just been cast, and it had just been randomly cast. I mean, he's still in this, isn't he, Dion Lord, to be fair? 2-1 um, behind, but... I always think with this matchup, if I'm playing this Gaven, because I very rarely play Lizards, I'm always terrified that the Crocs is just going to pile in and mark the the ball. And and looking at it here, if he can find a gap, this, this might be where he starts scaring everyone. Yeah. Is there a chain bush here? No, I don't think so. Because <laughs> he just moved him in, so he can you could have pushed him to like there or there, and then like maybe you could have blitzed him to there or something. And but he he can't actually hit the ball. I'm pretty sure. I'm pre I was sad, sad, <laughs> sad looking for a chain push, but um, no chain. Yeah, this is where it starts. I'm pretty sure this. Yeah, there's no chain there, is there? Nothing no, there's no useful chain anyway. Yeah. I mean, it gets you an extra block, right? Like, you, you do this just for an extra block with a strength 4 blocker versus armor 7. So so it's yeah. st it's still it's still worthwhile doing, but it doesn't doesn't do anything. I guess it doesn't even do anything because you could have just blocked the guard anyway. <laughs> so it actually doesn't even get you an extra hit. Well, I guess it gets you a juicier hit in terms of more likely to remove, uh, but less good quality player. Yeah, so I think... Oh, he's going to do it anyway. Yeah, I mean, it, it does... It gets him into a decent spot, right? It gets that Saurus into a pretty decent spot. Near the sideline. Yeah. And then he can go and pile a Saurus in here and pressure the ball. Yeah. Is this a double GFI for the Crocs? <laughs> I mean, it's a great double GFI, isn't it? Yeah. Probably got to do it. Oh, oh he, he did it. We we had no idea. <laughs> well, that's how it, yes, this is where we came in. Yeah. This was the board state. Yeah. This was the board state. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, never mind. <laughs> yeah. I've seen this. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> the thing is, like, you know, I can't really put the VOD of, you know, from turn 11 on YouTube, so. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, I could I could actually, what I could do is I could seamlessly edit this into the official broadcast from now on. <laughs> it's an idea. It's actually an idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be pretty same funny. Time. I mean, I know, I, yeah, I know, I know, see, now we now know what happened, but this is another example of how do you get the crocs onto as many of the gutters as possible and it looks at the moment like it's not possible to mark not easily mark them all no uh, no that, that no and it's it's the ball carrier is the main one isn't it like you have to get the ball carrier tail on the tail on the ball and then yeah. i mean he has got it on all three tail on the ball and then like make it so that you can't easily chain you or block you or or do anything to get away without rolling at least a four plus preferably isn't it yeah this is god this is so fast but it <laughs> looks like he's got everything in here that 
that skink that's just moved needs to run south two more to, to tag both of this, the um, the gutters because at the moment he's left him a two plus a, a two dice uphill rather than it could have been a three dice uphill yes. which I think is important yeah yeah I, re I really like putting him down there maybe he was like afraid of like a chain or something but I don't think it would be easy to get like somebody around to hit him but I mean obviously if he could and then chain out the crocs that'd be nice wouldn't it but I don't yeah. think it was easy to do that so yeah I, I like going uh I like going down to make it a 3D, yeah. I mean, even one, right? Even down one means that it's... Uh, uh, Tricky. Yeah, yep. but, yeah probably two, yeah. And then maybe, like, could have... Uh, like, maybe he's geified twice with a Saurus here, right? To put the Saurus on the ball. That might have yeah. been an idea. Uh, I maybe put this skink in as well. Like, maybe you could have just, like, really tried to roll a bunch of... The problem is, with only two rerolls, you can never really do that, can you, with Lizards? Um, I mean, you can do it, but it's a lot scarier yeah, doing it with lizards when with yeah, all the rules total. I love rules now. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think a tabletop. I'm, I'm adamant. Whatever roster I take, three rerolls. It's always three now. Mm. Two in leader or three because they just because you can stack them. They're so powerful. They're so powerful. Yeah. Yeah, I I always like valued it on on elves. I always wanted like you know the third reroll before. Pretty much everything else, you know, like a lot of people would, you know, get the fourth blitzer and, you know, dark elves or, or get a tree man on wood elves or whatever and all this kind of stuff. But I just always value the third reroll just because it lets you like, it lets you try things that you wouldn't try if you only had two. Yeah. And now it it lets you do way more than that, doesn't it? It lets you it lets you it lets you try plays that you can get really lucky at. And sometimes you'll just get really lucky at them without without even needing a reroll at all, won't you? And then it's like, it's amazing then. And you're happy to put two rerolls into a turn as well. If it's a good turn, I'll put two rerolls in. Whereas if you've only got two, that's really scary. Oh, I'll put it's three in. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, if it's turn seven and it'll win you the game. Yeah, you, absolutely. Oh, I've, I've put it in on like bloody turn three or something before. <laughs> like if it'll stop you losing as well, right? Like you know, if 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 you failed the pick up last turn and like you know a bunch of scut runners have come through, uh, then I I literally I, did, I let pro elves I I didn't count squares, and I let pro elves roll like a bunch of fours and threes and twos to run through my lines and like got the ball, and then I'm like right uh, fireball <laughs> and three re rolls to fully cage it and and like you know. Got got out of a you know a spot that was a certain loss, so so it does work. This could have been a chain, couldn't it? But I know he's going for this this sack with the skinks. I guess he's just going for a one dodge. This is just like a one dodger, isn't it? A one yeah, dodge one d. Yeah, and he's going to try and I think this uh, I think this skink does actually run around the top. He puts one around the top and then two d's. Because you can cancel both the, the, the non-active gutters with one skink and then the other just runs through and blitzes. I think he goes around the top. Which is, I think when we were watching it live, we, we were like, he should go around the top. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I, I quite like... I quite like Because it's just two dodges, isn't it? And then the other one's one. So it is three dodges instead of two. But then if you could... If you block that guy and get him in, then you could like surf the uh, gutter, couldn't oh, yeah. you? Is this the very start of this, the turn? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh no, no! This could have been a okay. So that would have been a surf. Okay, sorry, that would have been the blitz. So he could have blitzed there, and then blocked the ball with the saurus. But even then, like blocking the ball with the saurus on two D is better than blitzing the ball on one D, isn't it? Yeah, and then you've got to put a strength four thing against the sideline. He's not lift. And Orion's not moving that. Yeah, neither's Chunter. <laughs> sorry, yes, sorry, it's so Orion's in chat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> oh, don't worry. I've I've been far worse than that today. Jesus, I was just like, what was I saying? I, I guess. It, oh, plus, yeah, like there's just blitzing here and like not going for the ball and getting the crocs on as well, right? But just blitz the wrestler. Oh, but no, you can't. You've got to blitz this guy, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. Yeah, you'd have to G blitz this guy and then GFI. He's made a few dodges, hasn't he? You get to. Oh, and he puts the last reroll in. 
<laughs> oh, do you know what I did? You know the you know your game versus Moomin Slayer. Like mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I don't like this. It's like turn twelve, and he's got a lot of squares to go. I, he should be moving up to here. <laughs> it been so one sided that I thought it was Moomin Slayer's drive. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he's stalling way too close to the end zone here, and it's like, that's Andy's end zone. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, the game was sadness. Mm. Oh dear. Yeah, that was that was a comedy maker, all right. I think um, I know we're supposed to be watching this game, but I do think that I'm, I I messed the 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 drive up a little bit with respect to splitting the team up. I, yeah, the ball went deep and I had no choice to go fetch it. But by stretching everyone out, what that then did was allowed him to find someone to foul and then he got lucky and killed it. So I allowed my opponent to be lucky. And it, I think in retrospect, I would not have done quite as stretched lines as that again. Mm. Uh, and that might have changed changed it a little bit because because everything went downhill from that spiral. Yeah. Um, Whereas in the art game, very controlled, everything was blobbed together, and yeah, you know, art, did, art didn't throw a foul in the entire game. Yeah, by having a sneaky kick and a dirty player. Yeah, what what a difference the kick makes, wasn't it? Like that was the thing. It was a it was a kick near the LOS versus art, wasn't it? And yep. then this was like a yeah, really deep, and Mister Throw couldn't even get there. <laughs> but yeah, maybe yeah, maybe like bring the whole team back more as a unit and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, rather than chase the damage straight away. Mm. But, oh well, live and learn. And this would be where if you were going to play a lot of games of it, like, maybe I do need to go away and play 20 games of Underworld Orc to, to find those games. It's like, oh look, when it goes deep, you're screwed. When it doesn't go deep, you're fine. Um, mm. nah, like, you, you would learn something from, from those games. Yeah. But again, the problem is finding somebody of an appropriate skill level who wants to do it with you. <laughs> well, yeah. 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 Hands up anyone who wants to play Underworld solid for eight hours. <laughs> so, I'll barter down to six. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my god, a blitz as well. Chunter's winning 3-1 and gets the blitz. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, I think at this point... Diomlo's given up a bit. Like he's still he's still the anti blitz for what it's worth, but it it's not worth much now, is it? Like with uh, with being down by two touchdowns, he can technically do it with with uh, with a one turn, not a reverse one turn, as I thought, because the the blitz confused me again. <laughs> he yeah. could have set up to one turn and then uh, and then like get a timeout or a, a blitz or whatever and and do something. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's, you know, Underworld... I mean, Underworld getting blitzes is not as bad as Skaven getting blitzes still. Skaven are still number one blitz team. But at least if you set up anti-blitz, like, they're not as scary with not being able to dodge through, aren't they? So that's, that's nice. That's something nice. Mm. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, this is this is him just fighting this out now. I, I, I think he, he runs a couple of skinks down the sideline, which makes a lot of sense, but... He's not scoring. He's scoring on 15, and then he, the lizard coach now is relying on rolling a blitz or something, a kickoff event that gives them more time. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. Yeah, it's grim. But he gets the pass, gets the catch. <laughs> You're telling me there's a chance. Although there does appear to be a little bit of a gap between <laughs> the Saurus at the front and the Skink at the back. Yes, this is what is known as a Paravail cage. Um, one one GFI here would have sold everything, right? Because it would have made the full screen there and a screen with a thing. If if people were really good, they'd see those kind of things before. They, but we don't do. We just move a guy, and then you're like, oh, <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> oh shit. That would have been really good. But it's it's you know it's, sometimes you do right. Sometimes you do think out and stuff, and then other times you're like, oh, oh that would have been really good one over. I, I, I did one of those on tabletop recently and I convinced my opponent there wasn't a gap. Not by like shoving the players forward and back a little bit, but just by by being so confident that everything was completely fine. They stopped looking for the dice on the ball and were like, oh, I just have to screen then. Uh, and, it, 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 and it worked. It was brilliant. I'm so pleased. Dimmy was right all along. It is just confidence. <laughs> <laughs>
my co yeah, my cover is blown. It's just confident. <laughs> Amazing, amazing to see bluffing working. Yeah, I mean, like you can't really do it online, can you? But yeah, there's there is an element of that to be fair in uh, just in real it's life fine. things. It's it's fine. Everything it's fine. I'm not worried. <laughs> no. So now there's a there's a T shape and a box and a surf of a rat ogre possibly uphill. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> Chunter should surf his own rat ogre for fun, but um, he doesn't. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's over now, Dead. isn't it? Two, two touchdowns up. Uh, just wasting everybody's time. But you know, it's fair enough, right? Like people are in the cup; they're entitled to play it out, aren't they? Yep. Um, we've, we've watched the other like. In real time, we'd have watched the other hour and a bit. Why not play the other two minutes? It, you know, you're not hurting anyone. Yeah. yeah. But it would have been so funny if he'd taken the pal and he'd surf the gut. If he'd surf the rat ogre, that would have been that would have been really funny. I would have liked to have seen that, but I think maybe his Dion Lord wasn't in a in a jovial mood after that. <laughs> after getting blitzed twice on by Skaven and. Failing the five pickups, failing five pickups after failing the 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 chameleon skink catch, and then Dub's going to end the match. Amazing, amazing, and that that concludes the uh, the uh, what's it called? Second round losers bracket second round. Um, well, apart from the official cast, I'll put the official cast on after this because they go around the different results, right? But uh, that is, that's all of them done. Uh, Crystal Hunter goes through, Dion Lord's eliminated, and uh, now it'll all be down to the Saturday the 20th and 21st, where it will be myself and Andy and Adam Savage in Montpellier. It'll be glorious, won't it? Looking forward to it. It should be great. Yeah, mega, mega looking forward to it. So, uh Thank you for thank you for the raid and joining me on comms for this match that we'd both already <laughs> seen before. We, we, yeah. Thanks for yeah, seeing it again. It's great. <laughs> Confirmed what I already knew. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, at, at least well, actually you you pretty much just picked up exactly where you'd left it, right? Whereas at least it was nice to see that Dion Lord failed five pickups, um, and that's why he was losing. But <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah. Um there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.